Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on XRP. But before I get started, please click the like and subscribe button as it helps this channel grow very quickly. And I just want to tell you all, I'm so thankful for you helping me build this channel. I appreciate all of you for supporting me. And I just want to say thanks because without you, I would not be here honestly and i just love coming home from work and sitting down and making videos and talking to you all about crypto so thanks again let's take a look at today's video so let's hope the judge sees through the sec gov bs and declares xrp a non-security which it clearly is and ripple can get on with building a global payment system that makes transferring money easier and that's what i'm always going to tell you I believe the U.S. needs Ripple more than Ripple needs the U.S. Right now, we're lagging behind the rest of the world. And I think we need to play catch up at this point. What if Tether finally goes down? What if regulations finally hit? What if your project takes another huge dump? Why do you continue to listen to the unflushed toilet of Twitter? These so-called crypto influencers that scammed you every step of the way. Listen, there's scams all over Twitter. There's coins that come out that have zero use case, zero utility, and people invest in them. And that's on them. Wherever you put your money, it's on you. If you, come, if you go to Twitter and you listen to somebody who says, hey, you need to buy this right now, you could easily 10, you know, 10x your money, and you do it and you lose, that is on you. You have to do your own research. You have to do your own homework because if you don't, you can get caught up in a lot of really crappy coins out there. In my opinion, if you stick to the ISO 222 tokens and you stick to coins that have actual utility and use case, you will not lose in crypto in any way. We, now, we all know Tether is going to go down just a matter of time we also knows know that regulations are coming and we know that regulations are going to end a lot of coins a lot of them are going to be gone and as far as you know whatever you're invested in taking a huge dump i mean listen there's volatility in the market if you sell at a loss that's also on you the only time you ever lose in crypto is when you sell if you sit back, be patient, and hold, you will make money every time. Because all you have to do is sit back and watch the green candles. And once you're at profit, you sell, you, got, you made money. That's it. That's how easy crypto is. So will Ethereum still be able to manipulate pricing as they do now? It's beyond outrageous when XRP is less than a penny per average transaction in less than four seconds. Now... Right there is XRP's utility, and it has other use cases. But people will still come out on Twitter and tell you XRP has no utility, and it's a huge rug pull. And we're going to talk about that some more also. So I'm wanting to know when I'll be able to purchase some XRP again. As soon as the states are allowed to purchase again, XRP will go to $10. Well, you could still buy XRP in the U.S. You could go over to Uphold and buy it right now. It's just, that's not what's keeping the price down, though. It's, it's down with the rest of the market. We're in what's considered crypto winter right now. But I think coming out of this, a utility run is what we're going to see. XRP is for banks, XLM is for the people. Now, there's a ton of infighting with people that hold XRP and XLM. And I'm going to tell you all again. Hold a little bit of both. You know, sure, maybe you have a lot of XRP, but you should also hold a little bit of XLM. And then you should buy a little bit of Algo, QNT, you know, all the coins I talk about. You want to see my portfolio? Just look at the videos I make. Because the only thing I'm ever going to talk about, the only cryptocurrencies I'm ever going to talk to you all about, is something I buy myself because I feel 
ethically, I should not come on here and talk to you about something I would not buy myself. You know, I only buy what I believe in. So my XRP is on a ledger. And a lot of people are skeptical of exchanges and they're becoming even shakier, especially Coinbase. But I also don't trust Binance. And I do trust Uphold a lot, but I don't hold my XRP on it. I moved it onto a Zoom wallet. I could get airdrops there, you know, future airdrops. Ledger is great. You could put it on a ledger and then you don't have it on, out there on an exchange. A lot of people believe that the exchanges are going to be hacked once XRP finally takes off. Now, that could be true. I don't know. But we'll have to wait and see how that all plays out. But here's the thing. If you don't trust an exchange, you should get your money off ASAP. Mr. Payne, thank you for giving John Deaton a voice for the XRP army. An investigation is warranted as to why Gensler refuses to answer why Ethereum got a pass to give them a leg up on XRP, which has far more utility. Please keep spotlighting this story. And that was because uh, John Deaton was on Fox Business. And it's nice to see something good like about XRP. Usually the only time you see cryptocurrency on there is when it's either tanking or they like to talk about Bitcoin. The thing is, XRP has more utility than any other cryptocurrency in my opinion because of its main use case. It's going to move all the money. Attorney John Deaton slams the SEC chairman for having so much contempt for Ripple and XRP investors. See, that's the thing. You know, I don't think it's a fact that, you know, the SEC cares that about any of us. And people still will say, oh, but they're trying to protect us. No, they're really not. And I believe this whole lawsuit is just to buy time. I think it's already been said and done what's going to happen, but they need to prolong it to get us to ISO 222. So sick of these XRP fudsters trying to screw anyone out of investing in this coin. Now it's a rug pull. Seriously, how many rug pulls have been around as long as XRP? Since June 2012. Um, yeah, rug pull, bunch of FUD. Research the project you like and keep an open mind. Put it this way, XRP, anyone who calls this a rug pull does not know what XRP is. They never even seen where we're going. They don't see the big picture. They only see what they want to see. And most of the time, it's Bitcoin maxis. Or it's somebody else that's doesn't even own crypto that just likes to come on and say things like oh it's the biggest scam in the world or most of the time it's probably someone who lost money in crypto and now all crypto is bad just i want to tell you do not let these people fudge you out not when you're so close if you're new to xrp and you're a new investor the best advice i could give you is do not read any of the Twitter FUD. Because if you do, you'll want to sell. There's so much of it out there. And that's how I know we're close. Because when you start seeing more and more FUD, more and more people calling it a scam, more and more people trying to get you out of it, you could bet the time is close. So why are people so hung up on market cap? It means nothing. XRP will surpass Bitcoin if Bitcoin even still exists in the future. And the thing is, Bitcoin is only going to have a future thanks to Flare. Because it's going to become a Flare, an F asset on Flare, which gives it a little bit of utility and use case. Other than that, I think Bitcoin would have died under utility, superiority, like in other words, you know, all the cryptocurrencies that we talk about all the time. Once we see their true utility, no one's going to want to invest in Bitcoin. And then regulations come in on top of that. I don't even know. A lot of people, you know, say Bitcoin's going to 100K. I honestly do not see it. 
But, I mean, hey, if you believe in it, so be it. I just cannot come on here and feel right about telling you to buy into Bitcoin that it's going to the moon because I, I'm really not seeing it anymore. This is a future for everyone. Purpose is to develop solutions that will make the cryptocurrency space safer and easier to understand for everyone. Welcome to XRP Classic Ecosystem. And I mean, you really don't have to look hard to see where, where we're going. Honestly, so sick of hearing about XRP, market cap is still $18 billion. Even if SEC stuff is dropped, they're double market cap. Still at like $0.60 cents a coin. Not worth it for me. And it's people like that that will not make money in cryptocurrency. Because they'll go and invest in whatever is going to pump to the upside a little bit. No cash out. They'll make a little bit and they'll think, hey, you know, I'm great at this. I could do this every day until eventually they get wrecked. With XRP, it's such a safe bet. You put your money in, you sit back, you be patient, and you wait. And that's it. And, I mean, it's going over 60 cents. It already had an all-time high of, what, $3.84? It makes no sense to me when these people say that. The cryptoverse will change drastically with XRP versus SEC. Who wins doesn't matter. XRP will still be the new central bank. Who loses? You if you don't invest while it's at 33 cents. And that's the thing. I mean, look at it like this, okay? If you invest at 33 cents... And I just told you the all-time high, so it's an easy 10x. So why would you not even, you know, even if you don't believe in anything else about XRP, if you don't believe it's going to be handle all the money, if it's not going to be the king of cross-border payments, if you don't believe in all of the utility and the use case, guess what? It's still a good investment at 33 cents. Why? Because the all-time high is an easy 10x. Ripple will leave the United States if the SEC wins in court, the CEO says. And boy, did this open a lot of FUD on Twitter. Because they think that if Ripple leaves the US, that that's it for, you know, XRP and the XRP holders. That's it. You, you all lost. That's how Twitter looks at it. But that's not the case, and this is why. Yes, XRP has been declared a currency everywhere else in the world. The U.S. will miss a tremendous opportunity if Ripple leaves. The rest of the world is changing with or without the U.S. And here's the thing. The U.S.'s superiority in the world is with all the crisis that's going on. I mean, and then if we lose in the financial sector on top of that, I mean, the future for the U.S., they have to adopt this. They have to move forward. They have to get the, you know, the CBDC off and running. They need to move with the rest of the world because we cannot handle any more crisis in this country, to be honest with you. So in my opinion, I think things are going to start moving very quick. I think, you know, the SEC lawsuit is going to end. Ripple will win. Then from there, they'll get their IPO. They'll get relist. XRP will get relisted on all the exchanges. Institutional money will come flowing in. Plus, with Flare launching, then ISO 222. As an XRP holder, I'm telling you, I think we have a very, very bright future ahead of us. With that said, I'm going to wrap you up. Wrap up today's video. I want to thank you all for watching. Again, thank you all for helping me grow this channel. And I will continue to make you content every day if I can. And we'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.